I actually recorded a video for this Monday and it was just a short update that I won't be able to upload video because I'm going to unexpected trip but the trip got postponed for one day so now I actually have time to record something although it will be a video with just me talking to a camera with short centipede update at the end of this video so if you don't care really about the channel and stuff and if you only want to see centipede update I will write you down the, the minute mark so you can skip to that and for the rest of you let's talk a bit If you are following this channel for some time now, you notice that I have decent and constant increase in subscribers count and views count and everything and I was totally fine with how channel was slowly but surely growing. After all this hobby isn't really that big, not just tarantulas but including all arachnids and invertebrates. Hobby is there but it is really small when you compare it to anything else on YouTube and whatever the other people are doing in their spare time. So the audience for this channel is really narrow and I never expect to gain some huge numbers. Up until my last feeding video things really started to go crazy. Again in YouTube perspective and when you compare it to other channels that gain is really nothing. But it took me a year and a half to reach 10,000 subscribers and then after three weeks or how many it passed since that video, I'm at the moment on I think 27,000 subscribers. So from my perspective, from perspective of small channel with narrow audience, this is really huge increase. And I'm really happy, I'm really happy how this is, how everything is going, especially because as I mentioned in my 10k thank you video, not all of you guys are actual hobbyists. A lot of you just enjoy these videos. You aren't keeping tarantulas, but you just enjoy it. And many arachnophobic people are commenting how this is helping them to learn more about tarantulas or spiders in general and to lose a bit of fear because, you know, knowledge, knowledge is what can cure any fear. We humans fear of unknown things and spiders in general are really something unknown and, and they always receive a bad press and they have this nasty reputation, so of course of course that people feel about them like they do. And from what I can see from all that comments, I'm really making a small change in that world. That is more, more than I ever wanted and more than I ever expected. So yeah, I want to greet all of you new subscribers. Welcome, welcome to this community. Small community, but it is becoming really, really substantial, substantial big community, bigger at least. So yeah, hello and I hope you will enjoy. And with that increased amount of eyes watching my videos, it really brings a certain, how can I say, certain responsibility to make better videos and I will really try to do that. All of you older subscribers know that I, I read all the comments, that I try to answer all of questions that I receive, but with the recent expansion of the channel, the amount of comments that I'm receiving is really overwhelming. Not just on YouTube, on Instagram, on Facebook. And that is a bit of downside when you have larger audience because you can't really reach to everyone. I mean, I can with my videos, but I can, I really can't go through all the messages and respond to all the questions. So I'm really sorry. I'm really sorry if you ask questions and don't receive answer from me. I kind of feel bad about it because you were the one that are building this channel together with me and I don't know, I don't know. So if you see some some classic comments like what are the good tarantulas to start with or any other questions that you can answer, please answer to each other. If you know I made a dedicated video on some subject like beginner tarantulas, like how to keep humidity or how to feed, feel free to point to the people that are asking that that there are already videos on my channel. I would really, really appreciate it because I can't, I can't do that anymore, but I will always go through comments and read them, read your feedback, see how you respond to my videos and everything. I just can't go through all the messages and answer to all the questions. And this brings me to a last thing that I want to discuss with you. I've been thinking about it for some time, but I'm not sure if I should do it because I might come out as greedy or something, because I'm thinking if I should start a Patreon and if you don't know what Patreon is, it is a website that enables a community like this one to financially support channel or creator or artist 
with stuff that they are doing. It can be either per creation, I mean per video, or it can be per month. So essentially if you chose to donate one dollar, then each month you will donate one dollar to that person that you are supporting on Patreon. The reason why I would like to do this is because this is something I really and I mean really enjoy doing. And I see that you all notice that in my videos that I'm that I'm real with this and that this is really my thing and something that if it is possible I would really do my entire life but that takes a lot of time currently I'm doing two videos per week a lot of you would like to see more videos per week but really I don't have enough time to to work my daily job to record videos to edit to maintain the collection to maintain my apartment, to maintain a relationship with my girlfriend, my friends. You know, there is just not enough time to do more videos. And I don't want you to think that I feel entitled to this, that, that I deserve support from you in that way. It's not that. But if there is enough interest for that, that would be awesome. The end result would be better videos for all of you that are watching. But I'm aware that some people will definitely think that this is greedy. Now with increased views on this channel, I'm actually receiving a bit of money from YouTube, from ads. And that is awesome, but it is not nearly enough to live from. And there is no guarantee of what is the amount that you will receive on the end of the video. It all depends on the ads and how many ads are watched. So it is really not something that you can rely on to pay your bills or anything like that. And I'm the person that always plays safe and thinks about stuff before doing it. That is what I'm thinking about and I want to be totally honest with you because there is no reason to hide behind anything. I don't know, I will put a pool and you can cast your vote if I should do it or if I shouldn't do it, I equally value your feedback and write in the comments what do you actually think about it. In Croatia it is relatively cheap to live so I was thinking if there is 1500 of you that would like to support it with one dollar that means I get $1,500 per month and that is more than enough for me to do this full time for a living and then I could easily do three or more videos per week. There is so many stuff that I would like to do for this channel and there is so much, so much ideas and everything that I will probably do eventually. But just let me know, I will read your comments and think about it. Now regarding the centipede update, last night I catch her roaming around her enclosure and I was able to record it without any problems. It, it didn't seem to mind the light that I was shining on it. It was just roaming around and I decided to give it a cockroach but I kept light in one hand, camera in other hand and also I had a tweezers with a cockroach and somehow I managed to throw it inside and record the feeding. I don't know, in future I will probably just put few lateralis cockroaches inside and let it hunt at night. Because unlike tarantulas, they are more of active predator. They're, they are going around their environment to find food. Unlike tarantulas that are sitting at the entrance of their hide. And while I was eating the cockroach, I noticed something crawling on it. And it was actually a tiny, tiny jumping spider inside its cage. Jumping spider was probably hunting the springtails in the enclosure. And it was really funny to see it wander around the the centipede and the enclosure. So yeah, it is awesome that I can actually see the centipede. Even though I noticed some of you were commenting that I will never see it now because of the leaves and all the all the stuff in the enclosure. But I guess at night it can happen. We will see how things will develop with it. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this different video. I hope I wasn't too boring with my rambling. If you enjoyed it, thumbs it up and comment, leave me feedback. And if you're new to this channel, make sure to subscribe. I upload every Monday and Friday, so see you again soon. Bye bye.